DuckTales started airing new episodes last night, and while there is a lot to talk about with this one, the most interesting thing is perhaps that they seem to solidify the idea that some of their lore has an internal logic or consistency. They have developed their own magic system that has some semblance of rules. We're going to break it all down for you, but first, I want to remind you guys about our Patreon. We just set up some cool exclusives, like two-week early access to our Poorly Explained series, as well as weekly breakdowns from Haley and myself of cartoons currently airing, which for the next few weeks is going to be DuckTales. We'll still be making videos here on the channel each week, but those wanting to hear the breakdowns as soon as the episodes air should head on over to our Patreon and sign up. Now, DuckTales hasn't had the need for a hard magic system so far, as the entire premise of the show is that literally everything weird and supernatural exists, no matter how silly it may be, or even how the different elements may contradict one another. We have mythological beings, as well as sci-fi aliens, and the show can bring up pretty much anything at once, whenever it wants, as long as it serves the plot, or gives the kids a fun adventure to go on each week. This time, however, the actual magic surrounding Magicka Dispel and Lena finally got developed in a way that has its own internal logic and consistency. In the episode, Lena is having trouble controlling the magic of the amulet, accidentally granting wishes that others make, and randomly casting spells based on her emotions. When the boys run off to their own adventure in a goat dimension, the girls are ambushed by Phantom Blot, a shadowy figure who works with Fowl, who thinks that all magic needs to be destroyed. The girls are no match for him as they are, especially with Lena unable to control her powers, so they decide to go to Lena's Aunt Magica to see if they can find a way to beat him. There, they learn that Blot was once a regular person who lived in a village that Magicka terrorized. He survived it when she destroyed the village, but then pledged to end her magic. Magicka is hesitant to help, but she can't get her amulet and powers back if Lena lets Blot take them, so she ends up training Lena to use Magicka's powers better. A montage ensues where she gets more powerful, but what is really interesting is that it ends with Lena learning about a new type of magic. You see, the amulet casts purple spells, which is derived from shadow magic, but Lena seems to have a natural blue energy that is obviously derived from her strong feelings of friendship. Magic explains that each sorcerer has their own color signature for their own brand of magic, with Magicka's own being purple and shadow based, and Lena's being blue and friendship based. Magicka keeps referring to this magic as her own, but as we know, she has no magical power presently without the amulet, which raises the question of if it's really hers, because if it was hers, you would think she would be able to just use those powers on her own, the way Lena seems to with her blue magic. That is, until you notice that Lena's magic seems to be channeled through her own personal talisman as well. When she is losing the fight to Blot, she has to start thinking about where her powers come from, and that of course is her friendship. When she thinks back to her good times with Webby, the friendship bracelet is what begins to glow, and from there, the blue energy begins to radiate and overcome her purple energy. This power is intensified when Violet and Webby hold hands, and their own bracelets begin to glow blue as well, sending their energy to Lena. It would seem to me that, while beings can be naturally magical, they need to channel that magic into a personal talisman in order to maximize its power. Lena now has her friendship bracelet, which should be capable of activating her blue magic anytime she needs it. Magica, meanwhile, lost her amulet, which turned back into her staff, somewhere in the swamp, but it seems like only a matter of time before she gets her hands on it again. This amulet, slash sometimes staff, was probably just a personal necklace or item of hers, perhaps something passed down through her family, that she infused with her shadow magic when she was younger, the same way Lena has with her friendship bracelet. We get somewhat of a confirmation of this through Gladstone, another member of the Duck family who is known for his luck. In early episodes, his luck is shown to be something a bit tangible, as other entities are able to feed off of it, and the luck itself can be transferred if I'm not mistaken. We see the extension of this in the most recent episode, where Blot actually steals this magic to use against Magicka, with the same device that steals her shadow magic, and seems capable of stealing Lena's friendship magic. 
Like Magicka with her purple aura, and Lina with her blue, Gladstone appears to have a green energy associated with his magic, which goes with his personal color scheme that involves green clothes. Keep in mind that his particular energy is dark green. We can see it come out after he is hit by the light green energy of Blot's strange machine, so we're not mistaking Blot's energy from his glove for Gladstone's here. Theoretically, this makes Gladstone a magic being, though maybe not a sorcerer. As of now, we don't know what makes someone magic versus not, as he's the only character from non-magical origins to have some magical power that we know about. Magicka is a bit of a mystery with her history, and Lena herself was created from shadows, so is inherently magical. That being said, if Gladstone chose to, it seems he would be capable of channeling his lucky magic into his own lucky amulet, and start casting spells in relation to his luck. This could be used to shape the world around him to his will, and to make others face unlucky circumstances if he so chose. However, because his luck flows so naturally, this may not be explored. However, it would allow him to choose how his luck is used, as opposed to just having it randomly develop around him. That being said, he was an unnecessary addition to this episode, and very well may have been brought in specifically so that he could develop along with these characters in regards to the magic system. Magicka is bound to find her staff and use it in the future, and Gladstone may develop his own magic as well. After all, at the end of the episode, Gladstone seems to show some personal interest in Magicka that I think will be developed in some way in the future. It would not surprise me if Magicka became the big bad for Season 4 again, but with the ability to actually cause trouble this time since she wouldn't just be working through Lena like she was in Season 1. Gladstone could end up helping her or fighting against her in some way, but how they will play out remains to be seen. It's entirely possible that the other characters will begin to develop their own magic and channel them into their own amulets as well. Donald Duck was shown to be sort of the opposite of Gladstone, with an energy of bad luck that a demon could feed off of even if it made him sick, so perhaps that could be channeled into his own talisman, whereas Scrooge and his ingenuity and greed could maybe be channeled into his number one dime, which we've already seen be used in magical ways to fight against Magicka. Perhaps it's already has some magic history in that way, and that's why he has this preconceived idea that magic is bad. Perhaps it backfired on him despite having helped him with Magicka. As of now, this is just speculation though, but it'll be great to see where the show might go with this new element added to it. But what do you guys think? And if you're interested in hearing more about what we have to say about DuckTales as a whole, think about signing up for our Patreon where Haley and I will be doing breakdowns of each episode right after they air. I'll put a link in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.